another one of these. They are trying for their 14th straight conference championship to beat UCLA's record. But it was looking bleak until Saturday, a big win over West Virginia. They are now tied atop the standings, but things don't get any easier. They get Oklahoma and freshman phenom Trey Young tonight, but they have the best home court advantage in all of college basketball, Allen Fieldhouse. It is a heavyweight matchup. Ball in. Folks, this is the Big 12. Buckle in. Rock Chalk Jayhawk is blowing in off the plane. A book. And then knocked down the three. Was that something? Look at all the records he has set already. Ooh. Hey, I see it, kids. No Oklahoma and Kansas here tonight. And this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's ball. Welcome to Big Monday, presented by Chilsa Bay Bank. And welcome to an ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. Allen Fieldhouse is rocking as Trey Young and the Sooners come to Lawrence. It's Oklahoma taking on Kansas. Well, just as the sun rises in the east, as winter turns to spring, here we are approaching March. And where is Kansas? Right there with Texas Tech atop the Big 12 standings. Bob Shoes in here with Dick Vitale, Dickie B. You heard from Holly Rowe. We'll hear from Holly again soon. It is a big Monday, a great place to be, the home court advantage in all of college basketball. And once again, if you're going to win the Big 12, you have to go through KU. You got to go through Lawrence, baby. I'll tell you one thing. If you can't get excited for this, you're not a fan. Are you kidding me? This place is rocking. They're so excited. Four games left. They play three teams that have beaten them already, including Oklahoma. This is their time to try to win the Big 12 for the 14th consecutive year. They have a journey after this game to Texas Tech, who's been overachieving all year. Game day will be there. That'll be exciting. I can't wait. Will we see the real play up today? We are about to find out as we tip off our sonic blockbuster between Kansas and OU. Tell you one thing, he's played the trade before the game. He feels really good. He's been a little bit uptight, getting some criticism for the first time in his career, and he had a tough time dealing with a lot of that. You know, Jay Will said it really well, Bob. You can't just count on Trey Young. The other guys have to contribute if they're going to get a chance to win here at this incredible facility. Speed Mikhailu in and out. A wide open look. He doesn't miss many of those in this building. What did I tell you in the warm up? I didn't see him miss a shot. Trey Young lost it on the drive. Here comes Devontae Graham. He'll pull up. Got it. Big time player. Big time player. Leader. He's the captain. He's the catalyst. 40 minute man. He's the Cal Ripken of basketball. Wow, I'm excited. This place gets you pumped up. Azabuki with a takeaway. One of the most improved big guys in the nation. He's gotten better and better from the beginning of the year when I saw him. Good ball movement. But Gerald Vick can't hit it. Makailu, offensive rebound. And a fresh 30 for KU. Azabuki spins on Jamani McNeese, but traveled. Well, you can see in the opening moments of this ball game a brand new lineup for Oklahoma. Three new starters tonight. Now, Cameron McGusty has started two this season, but he is on the rotation because he's a shooter that they cannot rotate off of in the corner. We'll also see Cameron McGusty get more opportunities, and they hope he can heat up just like that. Jamani McNeese is getting his first start of the season. They think he's aggressive and attacking more inside in the post. And then you see James, uh, Christian Doolittle, who's getting his first start of the season. Lon Kruger, who rarely makes these kind of changes, says it's not that anybody's playing good or bad. We just need a little spark. Well, Kadeem Lackey not starting for the first time in 95 consecutive games as Jamani McNeese makes that first start. What do you think Lon Kruger is looking for with this new group well, starting to, tonight? Trying to get some energy. You lose eight out of ten games, five in a row. You're trying to get a team a little 
shake it up to understand we got to come to play. And we're going to put some new people out there. Christian James can't hit. Still a goose egg for OU. LeGerald Vick a step back. Knocks down another triple. Tell you one thing, Oklahoma better lace them up because Kansas has come to play. They got great balance when you talk about Kansas. All five guys out of your double figures. They're not a deep team, and this is not a vintage Kansas team. James spins. Can't hit the bunny. Got to make the layup. Can't win. You got to make shots, Bob. You got to make shots. They were 14 and 2 at one time. They were number four in the nation. They are a really struggle city. Azabuki. He was fouled on the floor by McNeese. Tell you one thing, they're not going to hack up late in the game like they did early in this year because this kid's gotten better and better alive. You know, for many, he'll say that's not really that great. He's looking to build self, but he's 18 for his last 30, and that's a major improvement for him. In a loss, he was one for eight. Trey Young capitalizes, cruises in. Can't get it to go. Wow. Defense played him tough. They forced his angle where he didn't have a good angle on that backboard. Of Gerald Vick. It's a double-digit lead to start for KU. We got a shutout going here, man. We got a shutout going here. Wow. We'll come back to Lawrence in 30 seconds. Hopefully we'll be able to hear each other. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Joseph A. Bank, the new tradition since 1905. And in part by BMW, we only make one thing, the ultimate driving machine. Did not take Lon Kruger long to push the button to go to Kadeem Latin. It looks like he is going to be substituted in for Jamani McNeese. A 10-0 blitz of a start for KU. Bob Susan, Dick Vitale, Holly Rowe. Already a couple of threes for Kansas. 0 for 5 from the field to start for Oklahoma. Well, Graham hits a big three and so does Dick. And they missed three layups. Trey Young missed the layup. James missed the layup. Here he is right here. He changes angle with the defensive effort right there. Made him have a tough time. Tell you one thing, Graham loves the challenge of guarding Trey Young. Gets a lot of help as well. They switch on him. Vic, a good athlete as well. Got James on a curl. Nice shot fake. Again misses from short range. Finally breaking the ice is Christian Doolittle. Well, Doolittle gets his first start, gets a good offensive rebound and score. How badly did they need that? Unbelievable. I mean, losing 8 out of 10. I know they're still in the tournament, but you lose here tonight. It's 9 out of 11. A few more games. You start heading for Bubble City. Akai Luke can play, man. He loves it here. He shoots well here. So does Devontae Graham. You know, Devontae Graham, he can really defend, he can shoot. He's played all year in the shadows of Trey Young in terms of publicity within the league. But he's a legitimate All-American candidate. Latin, rainbow jumper won't go. Another offensive rebound for Doolittle. It's out to Young. He gives it up. And the reverse is there as Kadeem Latin gets on the board. I don't think people really understand what a great passer Trey Young is. He's so intelligent such good basketball IQ he knows where everybody is on the floor he's not afraid to take a chance and that's why he turns the ball over a little bit great players do that Newman another three goes down for the Jayhawks we are seeing the strength of Kansas the perimeter players when they're making threes ball they're tough to beat and that's their strength Doolittle shuffled his feet Let's take a look at Bill Self in tonight's Infinity Coach's Corner. And this might be about as good a job as he has ever done in his 15 years as the KU head coach. Of course, 13 consecutive regular season titles, 
He deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. You can take an Infinity Timeout in your day and vote for your favorite coach and charity. Log on to infinitytimeout.com. Well, Bill, certainly a Hall of Fame in every way, on the court, off the court. And let me tell you, Bobby Huggins should be in the Hall of Fame. I'm really upset that he was not a finalist on that list. I'm hoping no lefty himself finally gets in. Graham weaves his way to an old school floater. He looks like he's going to have a big, big night. He's got that flow. Odoms finds Latin blocked by Lightfoot. They're playing with passion, man. This is Jayhawk basketball with Graham. lots of passion. That heat check won't go. And back the other way comes Trey Young. Crosses over, blocked again by Lightfoot. Wow. Wow, he can't get an easy shot, man. He's challenged, as Seth Greenberg said. Everything he does, he's challenged. The Gerald Vick travels, so that for the moment quiets the crowd. But how about Mitch Lightfoot off the bench doing a Yudoka Azabuki impersonation? Yeah, Lightfoot with some shot blocking right there on the inside. That's one of the real question marks from Kansas. Interior play. They don't have a lot of depth on the interior. They can't afford foul trouble. Young. In and out for three. Run down, though, by Manic. His putback woke up. And a foul called on Kansas. As the ball was loose in the lane. Tell you, Manic and Trey Young, nice diaper dandy duo. They come from... Close to Norman. Well, he lives in Norman. Trey managed right close by, 30 minutes away. That foul was on Lightfoot. I mean, everybody's concerned about, oh, I went to church in Norman Sunday, St. Joseph's. I come out of church, Sooner fence. What's wrong? I thought they were in there praying like crazy for their Sooners. I said, it's not going to get easier. They're going to Jaywalk land. Ouch. Nice pass. Latin. Blocked again by Lightfoot. What a job by Lightfoot, man. He's making it like Bill Russell. They got a lot of quickness right now, Kansas. Aaron pass. Makai Luke's got it. Gives it up. The lob. Lightfoot gets the hang from the rim. Great look. Very unselfish. Graham gives it up with the lob. Wow. What a start they got. And a rock jaw faithful. Love it. They love it. They're standing with joy. Trey Young is fouled on his way to the goal. Take a look at Lightfoot right here. I'm telling you, he's playing like an unbelievable man possessed. And there he is, gets the score on the lob. Trey Young goes to the free throw line. In the five game losing streak, the one great thing is. He's 38 for 39, now 39 for 40 on the free throw line. Well, he's getting his points. Even in this period where he has struggled of late, his scoring average hasn't dropped at all. He's just been so much less efficient getting those points on the road, shooting about 30% from the field this year. Well, you know, Bob, getting points at a game when it's wrapped up like we saw in the Texas game, it's really deceiving. You got to get points now, man. When your club needs you right now, that's when an All Americans got to respond. He's a beautiful young guy, too. Great attitude. Makai Luke with the left hand tapped no, by Lightfoot, but they'll wave that one off. Basket interference. Yeah, good call right there. Roger Ayers and company. Get away with that internationally, not get away with that on the collegiate level. You know, if I went to the Vital Board Dome Index and I don't deal with quadrants and fire hydrants and everything else they use, I use just basketball knowledge. Right now, my four seeds would be certainly Virginia, Villanova, Kansas, and Michigan State. That'll be my number one seed. Is, is there a fire hydrant index? Odoms with a nice scoop. They got high quadrants, hydrants. <laughs> I, I can't keep up with it. Maybe Jay Will and Seth can, but I can't. That's out of my league. All this analytics. We got more stats than ever. The only stats that count. You make shots, turn the ball over, you rebound, and assist. Give me all that other stuff. Give me a break. That's all just for chatter. You think they paired us together this year because I would have an appreciation for the Ball Dome Index? I, I I'm empathetic. So. <laughs> Graham. That won't go. Azabuki with a weak side rebound. He goes at Latin. 
Good challenge by Kadeem Latin. And it goes to Oklahoma. They need to turn it around as they are down by 12. Red hot start for Devontae Graham. Yeah, it's been Devontae Graham. He's been really on fire. Nothing but nylon there. And he says, why not? Let me try it again, baby. Jayhawk basketball. Has been a while since Kansas failed to win the Big 12 championship. The Red Sox curse of the Bambino was still in effect. LeBron was a rookie wow. the last time Bill Self and Kansas failed to win. Peyton Manning, he hadn't been to a Super Bowl yet. Reggie Bush was a freshman at USC, and Trey Young was five years old. <laughs> hey, let me tell you this, last time, look at this, all I want is to tell you it. She might get it. Trey Young blocked on his way to the goal again. You can see our basketball power index believes that there is a very good chance that KU is going to win at least a share of their 14th consecutive Big 12 title. Texas Tech might have some answers on Saturday. That's going to be a big game. LeGerald Vick. Yes. But they're making the threes. They're proven the players. And they get guys, obviously, that can make them. Makai Luke, you think about Grant, you think about Vic, Newman, they can shoot the three, and if they're on fire, they're going to be tough to beat because they're going to defend. Great hustle, though. Odom saves it. Manic got it to Trey Young, and then McGusty cuts to the goal. I mean, he catch, catches McGusty, but he made that pass ahead of time. McGusty was the leading scorer last year. Comes off the bench this year. I love the passing ability of Young. He's truly an outstanding general on that court. Zabuki with the left hand gets the roll. Where do you see him next year with another year at the collegiate level? He's getting better and better and better. Young, tough pass kicked by Azabuki. That's a break for OU. Should have shot that. Should have tried that with the left hand layup. And Azabuki favoring the right foot. They can't afford to lose him. No, their status could be. They thought they were going to have Billy Preston. That became a real controversial scenario. I believe he's played out in Lithuania now. See, right, right here, he should have shot that basketball. Should have shot that basketball. And you can see Azabuki twist the right ankle, but he's going to stay in the game. Young, another tough pass. Jamani McNeese runs it down at midcourt. He tries to make a lot of spectacular plays, and that's going to happen. Odoms with a jump stop. Manic with a tip. Azabuki's got it. He's one of the most important players, Azabuki. He's a guy they cannot afford to lose. He's their size, he's their post play. Shot blocker. Marcus Garrett. Rashard Odom's the other way. Hans McGusty. Plus the foul. A chance for an old-fashioned three-point play for the sophomore that last year led Oklahoma in conference scoring. He averaged about 14 and a half a game last year in Big 12 play. Yeah, and he's coming off the bench this year. Augusti keeps good balance right there, gets the layup. I'd say the Big 12's been unbelievable this year from top to bottom. When you get an Iowa State in last place, it shows you how difficult. And you can say the same about the SEC. No cupcakes. You don't go anywhere and you say it's automatic. Do you think that's what's worn on Trey Young a bit? Yeah, that could be there too. No question. I think Trey Young, you know, when you look at 10 for 52 in the last five games, obviously, you know, physically it's a, an exhausting scenario for him. I think I was listening to Seth earlier before the game talk about how he gets, you know, attacked defensively. Well, ball screens, double teams. It wears on you, but he's got a good attitude here tonight. Much better body language than I saw in the game on Saturday. Saturday, I thought he was thinking too much, frustrated, his body language. He's coming here to play. This is the matter he's playing against a quality superstar right there is Graham as well. Graham has played 10 consecutive games, 40 minutes. It's unbelievable. I asked why he feels. I feel great. That three won't go, but a back tap by Vic. Nobody really likes to come out of the game anyway, so he loves playing. Malik Newman steps back. Six threes already knocked down by Kansas. Well, Newman came in with a big reputation. 
to the collegial level at Mississippi State. Took a photo with his dad here today in the hotel lobby. Dad played at Mississippi State. Maybe jumper goes for Jamani McNeese. McNeese has got a lot of ability. He's got great wingspan, very athletic. Bill Self was telling us he thinks he's got a big future ahead of him. Graham got caught in the lane, bailed out by Lightfoot, fouled now by Christian Doolittle. Well, tomorrow night on ESPN, a Super Tuesday doubleheader. We'll start at the Big Ten at 7 Eastern, Michigan State and Illinois at Breslin. And then at 9, Coach Cal in Kentucky taking on the Razorbacks. That's tomorrow night, Super Tuesday, presented by Boost Mobile on ESPN and the ESPN app. Okay, the Razorbacks got some dynamite backcourt. They got two guys back there that can play, man. How about Michigan State down 27 on the road over the weekend in Northwestern? Came back and won. Incredible comeback. Thomas, those kids showed a lot of guts and heart to be able to come back from that kind of deficit, especially, as you said, on the road in Northwestern. Cassius Winston just took that game over. You know, he had a big game here with West Virginia. And I, I, I don't blame Bobby Huggins being a little upset. Any coach in there right might have been double self today up in his office when you were there. I said, well, you'd be frustrated too. He said, yeah, I've never seen anything like 35 and 2. But he also pointed out two years ago, they shot 47 free throws down at West Virginia. And his club shot about 18 or 20. So I get it. It balances out. In that game, in fairness, in terms of the officials, they shot a lot of threes, West Virginia. They weren't attacking off the bounce. I think I may be wrong. I read a stat when it took about 28 threes. Trey Young will drive it here. Blocked by Azabuki. Doolittle knocks it out. That foul, by the way, on Lightfoot, his second. He's back on the bench. Azabuki back in. But yet, I watched, obviously, the game. And West Virginia didn't drive it often enough to maybe get to the free throw line nearly as much as Kansas, but you just look at 35 to two. To two that's, that's unheard of. That's almost impossible. I feel bad that Bob Huggins is not a finalist. The oh, whole and as a bookie is able to at least touch it to the goal and it falls through. Throw the diagonal pass, he goes up and gets it and tips it in. Oklahoma has to find a way to get a little spurt and get a little momentum in this game. McNeese. Fouled by Azabuki. That's his first. They have not won here. The Sooners have not won here since 1993. They had a guy named Webster and a guy named Evans in that game. And they led him to a victory. 1993. I had a few more strands in my ball dome. Not that many more. <laughs> uh, Trey Young get a little break. Smart. Sometimes take the star out a little bit. And for the first time in 10 games, Devontae Graham gets a rest. McNeese off the window. It's good. It's what Bill Self told us he would do if he saw Trey Young leave the game. He would use that opportunity to give Devontae Graham a rest as well. Yeah, he was very honest. Let's let coaches give you a little, you know, they make you hear certain things. He told us upstairs. He said when he comes out, Young Graham will come out. Vic, baseline. Do a little the rebound. Jordan Shepard in to run things, or at least for the time being. Next whistle will have the under eight timeout, and McGusty will draw that whistle now. He'll shoot free throws when we come back on Big Monday. A 13 point lead for Kansas as Azabuki picks up his second foul. College game day covered by State Farm, live from Texas Tech, Saturday at 11 on ESPN. That will be a scene in Lubbock when the guys head down to watch Kansas take on Texas Tech. The remaining schedules for the two teams right now tied for the lead in the Big 12. Texas Tech's got Oklahoma State still to come. The head-to-head -head matchup with KU, then at West Virginia, home against TCU for Kansas, still Texas at home. And at Oklahoma State, probably tilting a little towards on the difficult scale, Texas Tech having to go to West Virginia next Monday. But 
it'll probably all come down to the result of that head-to-head -head game next Saturday. Absolutely, no question about it. That's going to be a big, big game. And for Lubbock to get game day down here, that is an exciting time. Talked to Bob Knight two days ago. Said he's not shocked. He said Coach Beard worked under him, and he said he understands defense, and he gets the kids to play with a lot of emotion, a lot of intensity. Key for them, though, is what's the status of Evans, their star, after he hurt his toe? That's big. Trey Young and Devontae Graham both still on the bench. So we'll see when both coaches bring back their point guards. Coming up on seven minutes to go in the first half. Mikhailu. Knocks it down. He loves shooting here, baby. He loves shooting. Seems like he's been here forever. Forever. Mikhailu, he's still very young, too. Came here as a 17-year-old. Yeah, chronologically, he's still very young. McNeese off balance, missed everything. He's got to get Trey Young back on that court. He's got to get Trey Young back. They got to get some momentum. But well, this baby could be over at halftime. Scramble for the ball, taken away by Doolittle. Here comes Shepard. Hits it ahead to McGusty. Can't lay it in, but that'll be basket interference. It was on the rim when LeGerald Vick grabbed it. Good call by Doug Sermons. And that yeah. was an immediate call. Yeah, very good call right there. No question. Can't take it off the rim. No, sir. Only can do that internationally. Can't do that on the collegiate level. And here comes Devontae Graham heading to the scorer's table. Trey Young continues to sit for Oklahoma. Well, if something's hurting him, he hurt his knee in the game we had against Texas. Collided with Roach. Garrett stripped away by Shepard. Kansas has a date here Monday. Next we'll be here in Texas. Bob, how impressed was he? Not only the game, but we interviewed him. He's made for TV, that kid. Augusti mid-range. Yes. Augusti really has come out here and given him a big lift offensively. Good medium range jumper. Average 14 a game last year. Conference players, you said, Bob. Mikhailu allows the flyby, gives it up to Newman. Offensive rebound, Garrett. They're just not hustling Oklahoma now, too. They're not hustling him. He's got to get Trey on that court. And Trey Young is set to come in next whistle. McNeese muscles his way across the lane, draws the foul on DeSosa. So the m and guys have done well here, McNeese and also McGustin. Wednesday night, an ACC Sonic Blockbuster doubleheader lined up for you. First at 7 Eastern, number 10, North Carolina, will take on Syracuse at the Carrier Dome. Big one for the Qs. They're one of the last four in right now, according to Joe Lenardi. And then at 9, Louisville Duke at Cameron Indoor, an ACC Sonic Blockbuster doubleheader. Wednesday night on ESPN and the ESPN app. Hey, what about North Carolina with those four games in a row? They've won. Unbelievable play. Really well beat Louisville. They beat Notre Dame, they beat North Carolina State, they beat Duke. Roy Williams, former great coach here for 15 years, did a phenomenal job. They've been so fortunate here when you think about having leaders like Roy Williams and Bill Sutton. I mean, that's incredible. Two Hall of Famers. And Duke, what about them winning three in a row without Bagley? And Grayson Allen has now stepped his game up offensively, which he went through a little struggle prior to, to these last three games. Not only are asking you to score if you try to get him going, Devontae Graham, too. Sosa with the reverse, out of control, but a foul call. Sosa came from out of IMG Academy. He was a high school player, came here in midseason. He grew up in Angola. He went to high school in Florida. So when he came here in December, he got off the plane in Kansas City in December in a t-shirt and shorts. <laughs> the first time he ever wore a winter coat, KU gave him the winter coat. Is that legal? They gave him a winter coat? Uh-oh, got a rules violation here. NC, I'm calling the NCA up right now. No, what you're talking about is basically first time he ever got a coat. Did I just put KU on probation? Is no, that what you're trying to do to me? No, give me a break. No way in the world. 
Kid was cold. He needed a coat. You guys, you just saw the young man from Africa. He was born originally in Spain, then went to Mali as a young man. But we are seeing a real influx of talent from Africa this season. 12 players in the Big 12 come from that country. I asked Udoka Azabuki one of the reasons why, and he said, you know, when I was a kid, I went to a camp that was run by the Toronto Raptors GM, um, Masai Ujiri. And I reached out to Masai Ujiri today of Toronto and said that his Giants of Africa camps, basketball without border camps, and seed camps have gotten many of these kids from Africa opportunities here in the United States. He said he has three kids from Africa on his team in Toronto right now. So the NBA making a big push in Africa, and we're seeing that from the Big 12. Making a big oh. push is Mikhailu. It's another three. Tell you one thing, they're playing so well defensively, offensively. Shepard can't get it to go. Great block out, Stu. You don't see teams block out, but they're blocking out here defensively. That's the final phase of playing good defense. Mikhailo gives uh -oh. it up. Good shot fake, but a traveling call by the Sosa. Crowded Allen Fieldhouse loves that call. Back on Big Monday in a moment. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66. Proud sponsor of Big 12 basketball. And keep the peace back there. It is a big lead for Kansas. 16 on the strength of eight made threes. KU averages as James tries a three and knocks down the first made triple for OU. Dick KU leads the Big 12 in made threes per game. They average 10 made threes per game. They've made eight here already in the first half. Well, I'll tell you one thing. At Oklahoma, they're losing streak. I've given up a lot of threes. They need James when he just hit an open shot to give him some score and productivity. And they actually said that James had a toe on the line. That was only a two. So still no made threes for Oklahoma. But they may go to the monitor to take another look the next opportunity that they have. Tell you one thing, you know, the stat sheet, there's only one negative stat when you look at Kansas. They got eight turnovers. They've been sharing the ball, shooting well, making threes. The three hides a lot of negatives. You make that three, it really takes away a lot of the little negative things that may, ex may exist. And that's their strength. They got perimeter guys can shoot. Foul called on the drive by Makai Luke. We've gotten the word from our truck and now we'll take another look ourselves to see whether or not James was behind the line and that is pretty clear that that should have been ruled a three. So at some point we'll give another point to Oklahoma. It should be 42-29 right now. I think you're going a little spurt to try and get it into single digits. That should be their goal here in the last 246. Devontae Graham gives it up. A little too hot to handle for DeSosa. Malik Newman with five to shoot. Mikhailu off to Graham. He's going to have to force one up. That's an air ball, so that's a good defensive stand for Oklahoma. They force a shot clock violation. Yeah, they really did a great job there, but now they don't have so much... You know, worry about on the interior. Got no post presence without Azubuki on the floor, so you can extend a little bit more on the perimeter. They're gonna get some shots here for Trey Young. Young has it stripped away by Newman. So, Good play by McGusty, but Newman regathers. Can't finish. DeSosa with the tip follow. Hey, DeSosa gets a PT. Playing time with Azubuki with the two fouls. Played at IMG Academy. A great place for the fellow. Many athletes in a variety of sports. What a football team they got. Magusti reverses at home. Magusti's doing all he can to put points on the board. Nice drive by Magusti. Protects the ball really well with his body. Nice crossover by Devontae Graham. And the finish. 
the Monte Grant's my kind of player. I love guys that have leadership skills, guys that have quickness, toughness, make shots. James hits a triple. He had two games where he scored 45 points back to back in those two games prior to the Texas game. First time all year, I believe, Bob, that he hit the 20 mark. First games. time in his career that he hit the 20 mark. And he hit it in back to back games. Knocked out by McNeese, 11 to shoot. Took a nice tour of the Oklahoma campus in a beautiful football stadium. My wife and I stayed there on Sunday. Hey, went to a great restaurant. If you're ever in Oklahoma City, I'm sure Billy Donovan goes there. Mahogany. Remember, I'm telling you, Mahogany in Oklahoma City. Great steakhouse. Yeah, that's a Dick Vitale, Billy Donovan price range restaurant. <laughs> Another three. Malik wow. Newman with the ninth man three here his, in the first half for Kansas. His father's jumping with joy. He was excited in the lobby today. At the hotel, Trey Young sets up McGusty. Nice look by Trey Young. Gave the rock up. Bill Self will call a timeout. Under a minute to go in the first half. We're back in 30 seconds. TV, Dick Vitale, Holly Rowe with us as well on Big Monday. Under 45 seconds to go in the first half. And Kansas a point away from hanging 50 on Oklahoma wow. in the opening 20 minutes. Kansas is 9 of 15 from three. Oklahoma desperately needs to get back on the winning track. They've lost eight of their last 10. Now they did a lot of damage early in the season with a lot of good wins against ranked teams. Right now, Joe Lenardi predicts them as a six seed, but sooner or later they have to start winning games again. Absolutely. You know what going to the tournament on such a down cycle even. You're thinking about now they were 14 and 2, they were 12 and 1, and they've lost eight out of ten. I'll tell you, they're second in the nation in scoring. Number one is Duke, 80, I believe 88.5 a game in that area. But I'll tell you, they really have having a tough time offensively and defensively. The zoning right now. Tough to zone this club, the way they pass the ball and the way they shoot the ball. Came out of the man. Trey Young at the point of it. Shot clock down to five. Newman for three. Makai look with a back tap. Here comes Young. Long bounce pass to James. What a great look. He knew where that guy was ahead of time. That kid has got great vision, great passing ability. Anybody Graham. doubts him as a player is out of your mind. That kid is a legit player. Young, good if it goes. So they didn't quite get it down to single digits, but manageable for Oklahoma with the number of points they gave up down 11. Unbelievable that they're only down 11 because you would have thought that they would have been ahead by much more than them as we go to Hollywood, Bill Self. Well, Coach, you did something crazy that you haven't done in 10 games. You gave Devontae Graham a rest. Why were you, did you take him out of the game? Well, Trey came out, so that, that was the only reason. You guys have done a nice job on Trey Young. What do you think you've done effectively? Well, he's got everybody else shots. McGusty and uh, is having a big, big night. I don't know if he's got 13 or 16, so we got to do a better job of guarding everybody else and keeping the ball in front of us. Thank you, Coach. All right, Holly, thanks very much. Time for the Alfa Romeo halftime report. 49-38, Kansas on top of OU. A high-scoring first half. Adnan Vert, he's a Canadian. He's seen guys drop the gloves before. See if Jay Will and Seth, they've gone at it while we were away. Adnan? Welcome back to Big Monday, presented by Joseph A. Bank in our ESPN Sonic Blockbuster. Just about set for the start of the second half. They did add that point to OU's total. Christian James credited with that three. It is a 10 point lead at halftime for KU. Amazing. Bob Wachusen here with Dickie V, Dick Vitale, Holly Rowe as well. Not too bad considering the fact that Oklahoma was down 10 to start the game. Well, 10 zip to start. They spot them 10. Think about this. They're down 10. Trey Young is one for six. On the other end, you look at certainly Kansas made nine threes to two. That's seven threes. That's 21 points, man. That's a big edge. And yet they're only down 10. First four minutes are going to be vital here for Oklahoma. Let's take a look at some of those threes. The game flow driven by Continental Tire in Kansas. Their offense was flowing early. And Devontae Graham nails one down. Mr. Thick knocks one down. The Zebra comes to tell us we change it to three. It's a 10-point game. Oklahoma 
McCusty really helped him. What a great pass right there by Trey Young. Tremendous vision. Knew where his teammate was and got that baby right out. Dropped it like a dime, baby. Just put it on the money. They got to get Manic to give up some offense, and Trey Young's got to score. They cannot make this a game unless Trey Young puts some points on that board. One for six will not get it done. For the last five and a half games now, Trey Young is 11 of 57 from the floor. He says, why do we have to keep reminding everybody? It's a fact. You can't hide the fact. Look at this crowd. We're going to see another great crowd. You and I, a bucket list for people in basketball is to sit at courtside here at Allen and at Cameron, and we're doing that in one week, and we're getting paid. Don't tell my bosses I do that for nothing. Don't tell Mickey Mouse. Disney, I do it for nothing. All right. You're fired. You were my agent, but you're done. I like to check again. We are set for the second half of our Sonic Blockbuster matchup, and we'll see if Oklahoma can come from behind and get a desperately needed win. They're going to set some screens up for Trey. McNeese corrals the loose ball on the deck. Shovels it off to James, who leans in. Plus the foul. Nice play by McNeese on that deck, man. He laying on the floor. He knows he can't get up. It'll be a walking violation. Flips it to his teammate, and James scores. And that's the third on Azabuki. Wow. Big. They're going to get him right off the floor. Here he goes. Out of the game. What a great effort right there by McNeese. His size made that happen. I said the first four minutes so many times in basketball, when you're behind, it's vital to come out and go on a little spurt. You and I were talking on a break. We said they got to go on a connect one spurt to get themselves mentally where they feel they got a chance to win. Well, they scored the first three points of the second half, cut the lead to seven, so Mitch Lightfoot, he's got two fouls. He's back in the game as Azabuki sits with his third. Trey Young trying to get up that screen late, late. Floater goes for Grant. Nobody gave any help. Nobody switched on it. He just went right off the screen, and Trey trailed the play. He went what they call fourth man. McNeese over Lightfoot, short. Mikhailu able to track it down. Ted Newman was a big-time high school star. Went to Mississippi State. Kentucky wanted it badly. Didn't get it done down at Mississippi State, so I got to go somewhere else. Transfer, and he loves it here. Mikhailu off the feed from Graham. You can't allow him to be wide open. You've got to know the scouting report. Ron Kruger has the scouting report for these guys. You've got to find him. You can't let him square his body and get a look like that. Lightfoot picks up his third foul. So now Bill Self may have to go back to DeSosa. Once again, we'll see, but that's Azabuki and Lightfoot each with three. I tell you, the three-point shot just breaks your back. You make it a little run here, Oklahoma, and here comes Makai Luke with that big three. Trey Young with the left hand throws it up to McNeese. He said that was a pass. Give me an assist. He said that was a pass. Come on, Mr. Wachusa. I believe it. <laughs> Don't believe it. He's being challenged right now, Trey, to play some defense. They're going to see the screen. Graham yeah. left alone. He got Defense lost and the breakdown for OU. Well, Trey Young got lost on the screen. Little ball screen. He went behind it. Two baskets in a row. Graham's been able to score off him. Trey Young to McNeese. What a pass. Great vision. See, I would take Trey Young off to my big Graham. I would put someone else on him to let him be able to exert himself in terms of offensive. See, he's, he's not playing the screen well at all. Right by him. And a foul call. Devontae Graham's having a field day offensively going right by him. Watch right here. He'll get lost in that ball screen. Comes the ball screen. He goes behind it wide open. You can't go behind like they got to get over the top. Well, you got to at least switch. got to communicate. Communication's vital defensively. A lot of teams do not do that. I know Coach K down at Duke stresses that all the time. We must communicate with one another. 
Well, guys, you see Long Kruger speaking with Trey Young, who really has been limited in his scoring, but he's gotten other guys involved. And that was part of the spark that Long Kruger wanted. The three guys that he has coming into this game have been much better. Jermaine McMeese with 10 points, Cam McGussie with 15. So part of that spark was there, but he said the biggest problem they had was defending the three-point line. He said they sprinkled in a little zone at the end of the half. We might see more of that here and there, but he really just overall needed more defensive intensity because he thought the offensive spark was there, just not the defensive. Tell you one thing, Holly, they got to do a better job playing that ball screen, especially in the case of Graham, where Trey Young has been lost the last three possessions trying to defend it. I'll tell you, Holly's one of the hardest working people I've ever seen. She's unbelievable. It's so inspiring to so many. Fade away three won't go for Trey Young. Tapped out, stays with Oklahoma. But back to Holly's point about defending the three point line. Kansas is 11 of 19 shooting the three. We've got 17 minutes to go. No, Bob, really the three has hurt them in five losses. They have not defended the three. Their defense on the three has really been a dilemma for them in their five game losing streak. McNeese spins left. Follows his miss, but Mikhail Luke's got it. Looks like he had himself a sure layup there, a little hard on the glass. Had a little momentum here, and it's now swung back to the Jaywalks. Graham to Lightfoot! Devontae Graham is the boss right now. He's the man. He's making all the plays. And he's also doing a heck of a job defensively. Nice drive right there, though. He beat him one-on-one. -on -one. Trey Young, very quick, changes tempo really well. Graham the other way, off the heel. McKaylook's got it. He'll run to the oh, corner wow. and shoot a three. Wow. McGusty with the rebound, a dodge bullet for Oklahoma. Trey Young, back door to McGusty. You very many of the NBA players are going to make that pass. Left hand, drops the bounce pass. LeBron James just jumped up in his house. I love that kid. I want to play with him in Cleveland. They may get him. They got that pick from Brooklyn. May be available there, maybe a five or six. Mikhailu on the drive. Light foot can't follow it. James has it. Get the ball to Trey Young. He's going to start demonstrating his great skills. And a chance once again to get it back to single digits for Oklahoma. Young thought about a deep three. They're going to help him out with some ball screens. McNeese around Lightfoot. I can see why Bill Self was really concerned about him. McNeese got the long wingspan, very athletic. Tell you one thing, there's no quitting those Oklahoma kids. They're battling and battling, and the three ball has really been a negative for them trying to defend them. Love the leadership skills of Devontae Graham. Vic, no, to Graham in the corner. Malik Newman, fouled by McGusty. We've seen two point guards doing what point guards do and making plays. Yeah, making plays. Look at Devontae. Great look inside. But Charlie traces. Anything you can do, I can do better. Check that one out, Devontae. Left hand bounce pass for a deuce. Don't go away. This baby's not over. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Phillips 66. Proud sponsor of Big 12 Basketball. But one of the great guards to ever play here in Allen Fieldhouse was honored with his jersey being retired today. Sharon Collins, his mother, breaking into tears as he described her as the toughest woman he's ever known and the reason that he has the work ethic that he does. You know, Bill South has said that he was the greatest guard I've ever recruited to come to Kansas, and he really showed that. He and Cole Aldridge, whose jersey was retired on Saturday, combined to go 55 and 0 here in this building. Now both of their jerseys hang in the rafters. Here's Vic for three. He knocks another one down for Kansas. How appropriate is it that Sharon Collins' number four is right next to and will always be right next to the 45 of Aldridge. Up in the rafters here at Allen Fieldhouse is Mikhailu. Lobs one to Vic. Wow. Vic is such an athlete. Such an athlete. He went through a little down cycle, but he's back now scoring again. Then he all in a little spurt. Javon Collins is as tough as they come. Chicago City kid played at Crane High School. A lot of people forget he made the pass to Chalmers when he hit that three against Memphis. And he did it. You know who's guarding him? Another Chicago kid. By the name of Derrick Rose, Memphis. 
Jerron Collins had so much heart and guts. He worked his gut out, came as a big time five star player out of the scholastic ranks, a PT beard, flat out. Solid goal. Happy for him. Great to see mom and family here. Graham. That won't go. Doolittle the rebound. Four different players for Kansas have made at least three threes in tonight's game. Young. Way wow. outside. Gets one wow. to go. It's been he a shot, while. He shot that from Kansas City. He shot that from Kansas City. He needs a few more of those. Well, he's going to get better open looks. That was even challenged right there. And that wasn't really an easy open look. They got great ball, ball movement, player movement, drivers, slashes. Do a little foul as Newman. Talking about range. Are you kidding me? That's Stephen Curry range. Uh, wow. Look at that range. Little rainbow. Defense right in his face, too. Pick the athlete. Hey, let me tell you, Kansas fans, they're going to be excited. Paul B. and Cardi sends me a text, and he says, they got a top five recruiting class coming in again next year. What else is new? They just reload, baby. They reload. Unbelievable. They got a kid by the name of Dotson coming in. David McCormick, number 28 on the ESPN, a center. And then Grimes, three guys in the top 30 in the USA will be here in Kansas uniforms. Young out of control, had it knocked away, scrambled for it, and the possession arrow will give it to the Jayhawks. What a venue to play in, just like that in Cameron. You can't really, this is Fenway, it's Wrigley. You and I go to Fenway and Wrigley this week. It's one of those places where if you can get a recruit to come to a home game, it's pretty much done. Well, you got a great Who chance. Who wouldn't want to play here? You got a great chance. They recruited hard last year. The point guard slot, they were recruiting hard. Trey Young and Duvall, who we'll see on, uh, on Saturday with Duke. Can you imagine if Trey Young hooked up with Devontae Graham? Wow. They had a magical backcourt last year with Graham and Frank Mason yep. as a player of the year. And it could have been even better with Young and Graham this year. They would have been Steph Curry and Clay Thompson. There's DeSosa like in the post. Up and under with the left hand. Wow, DeSosa. He's getting some PT. It has a movie in foul trouble. This stuff like that. He's trying to get some minutes from him. Latin. Yes. Latin with a little jump shot. When they beat him 85-80, that was the game where Trey Young took only nine shots, made seven, went to the free throw line, and that was after he took 39 shots in a loss against Oklahoma State. We put a lot of points on the board. They lost that game because they didn't foul at the end on a three point attack. DeSosa with another offensive rebound. He's given up positive minutes. Graham for three. That's an air ball. DeSosa, weak side, draws the foul. Playing hard, he strokes it. Really giving him some positive minutes. They love it. They love it. Look at these Rod Chuck J. Hawk fans. Do they feel it? What passion? What feeling? Oh, they got so much passion. Look at the Sosa. He played high school the first semester here. Came back, came here after he graduated down at IMG Academy. Got the board scores. The Sosa, positive minutes. He had scored five total points this season. He's got seven already in this game. So surprising production off the bench from Silvio De Sosa with Lightfoot and Azubuki both in foul trouble. Well, that's a real plus for kids to find another player who can give you some positive minutes, especially a front court player. Remember, he entered here in January out of the Scholastic ranks. Young couldn't beat Graham with the ball. De Sosa dribbled it right off of Doolittle's foot, and now Young knocks it out on the cross-court pass from Dick. Tell you, Roach made it tough on Trey Young on Saturday, and Bob, he just was a Windex man, sweeping the glass big time. Loved interviewing uh, Baker Mayfield. That was a lot of fun. Baker, Broadway Baker, they got to take him to New York, man. The Jets better take him. 
He would be great at the Big Apple. That's Sosa! Oh, he's Sosa! Off the feed from McConnell! A new star is born! A new big man on campus! Big Sosa claps his hands! Oh, he's all fired up now! Sometimes you just need that one breakout game! James, short. Jayhawks got Uncle Mo now, baby. They don't even have Uncle Mo. They got Uncle Devante, too. Graham, NBA range. Got another. Oh, he's feeling it. He's feeling it. He calls up Sharon Collins for advice a lot of times. Young to Maddox. Can't hit it. Maddox struggling. Maddox had a big game against them in that first matchup. It's all Kansas right now, Bob. It's all Kansas. But John J. Hall. Graham. Short. Honest pull up. Is fouled by DeSosa. That's the only negative so far for Silvio DeSosa. Look at Azabuki off the bench to congratulate Silvio DeSosa. It has been by far his career night yeah, so far. He's played brilliantly. He's given a lot of positive minutes here. And Bill Self has to really love it. Bill Self enjoys it. Come on, Bill, get a little more enthusiasm. Oh, Bill, come on. Wednesday, it's an ACC Sonic Blockbuster Double Feature. North Carolina Syracuse at 7, Louisville Duke at 9. Wednesday on ESPN. It is a Sonic Blockbuster ACC Double Header at 7 and 9 Eastern on ESPN. Syracuse, according to Joe Lenardi, the last team in. They have yet to beat a ranked team so far this season, so a win at home over North Carolina would go a long way towards keeping Jim Beheim's team alive. And you mentioned how good Duke and Grayson Allen have been without Bagley. Unbelievable. I mean, Grayson Allen has really played well, set the tone for all their type of dandies. So is Wendell Carter. Christian James sets up McNeese. Five to shoot. McNeese fades away and connects. McNeese has got a lot of ability. Got size, got quickness. Well, guys, in that last timeout, Lon Kruger showed a lot of fight in the huddle, was telling his guys, we've still got fight in us. We've got to fight harder. Really good exchange with young players. Jamani McNeese looking at Trey Young in the huddle. What do you want to run, man? Getting information from each other. So when they step back out onto the court, they're both on the same page. That resulted in a Jamani McNeese basket. basket. Good fight from these young guys in the huddle. We'll see if they can bring it to the floor. Well, Graham gets whistled for the foul as he hooked with the elbow. Really, the problem for Oklahoma has been at the defensive end. They're shooting 46% at the offensive end, but Kansas shooting 57% from the field and 52% from three. So, oh, you just not gotten stops. Yeah, you're not stopping the perimeter shooting 13 for 25. You can't give up 13 threes and expect to really win a basketball game. And there's a lot of time you have left. McGusty, it's a three. Trey McGusty's done his part in terms of scoring. They gotta play with more passion on the defensive end. They gotta really come out and challenge that three-point line. Season high for McGusty, the first time he's gone over 20. They share the ball so well. So unselfish. They're all about the name of that jersey. Azabuki, tough catch. Azabuki twice shoots about 77 percent. Everything around the basket, getting more confidence with every game. Trey Young drives it, draws the foul on Graham. There's no doubt Trey Young's been distributing rock. He's a facilitator. He finds open people. Guys are going to love playing with him in the NBA. He's not going to be able to defend it the way they do it on the collegiate level. Spread the court. There'll be better spacing for him. He's got great quickness, changes tempo really well. There's no doubt he's going to be an impact player. You take him 
right to the bank. This kid is going to be an impact player right away in the NBA. He gets with a really good team. And LeBron, who I think will finish his career in Cleveland, I don't care, all the talk, Lakers, this, that. But he was great there in that All-Star game. In the All-Star game, I really congratulate Adam Silver. I thought it was a great move what they did. There was some passion, some pride being played. And team LeBron leaves with a W, and he gets another trophy for his trophy. Ah, Zabuki! Another alley you that feed. Perfectly no. executed by Marcus Garrett. The defensive efficiency is just not there for Oklahoma. Devontae Graham picks the pocket of Young and then McNeese. He wants the intentional. And Come you on. have to make a play on the ball. McNeese grabbed him yep. and knocked him down. Bill Self, I think, is making that same pitch to Doug Sermons. Defense is really broken down. Holly was talking about they had a little fire in the huddle for Don Kruger. He's done a great job everywhere he's been. He's only one of two coaches to take five teams, five teams to the tournament. The lob. Dick! Off the feed from Gray. Doing anything they want offensively. And Pomeroy's going to have their offensive efficiency way, way up. Execute. Look at Josh Jackson. Playing with Phoenix, trying to get a lot more playing time. McNeese again in the post. And a quick timeout, it looks like, is going to be called by Oklahoma after the McNeese bucket. Under eight minutes to go. Kansas with 83 points on the board, shooting 60% from the field. Devontae Graham putting up another typical Devontae Graham kind of game. He's got 20 points, six assists, only two turnovers. He's made four threes. And he also did a great job early defensively on Trey Young. He shares the ball. I want to say this. I love Trey Young. I love his future. As you look at him right here, I love everything about him. But you know, the wooden watch, the Wendy's wooden watch, well, let me tell you this. We've all, basically many of us, a lock. Lead the nation in scoring and assists. A lock to be player of the year. Bobby will win it. I think that lock's getting a little loose because I think Jalen Brunson has really been terrific. And there's a few other guys who are starting it now. You can't keep putting the numbers and keep losing like they're losing and say national player of the year. I mean, really, think about that. Makai Luke sets up Vic under 10 to shoot. Graham. He's got another. He's won the battle here. He's won the battle. Now he's playing with a little better cast, too. Let's face reality. I mean, the cast is a little better. Azabuki breaks up the lock. They love sharing the ball. That's what I love about this team. Step back for Newman. Azabuki, an offensive rebound. See the leadership? That's leadership, what he did right there. That's just leadership. That's experience. Played with a great guy with Frank Mason. Mikhail Luke. Yes! Three points. Anybody guarding him? I didn't see anybody guarding him. I didn't see anybody guarding him. 16 threes for Kansas. And a chance for an old-fashioned three-point play for Christian Doolittle. 89-68, Kansas. 89 points for the Jayhawks with still six and a half minutes to go. It's this season. It seemed like a runaway for Trey Young. No players ever led the nation in scoring and assists. He's doing that. Marvin Bagley right now out of the Duke lineup. Maybe he'll come back on Wednesday. Jalen Brunson might be the best player on the best team in America. And DeAndre Ayton, of course, in Arizona. Yet you talked about this. You can't be the Wooden Award winner and the National Player of the Year and be a bubble team. And right now, Oklahoma is headed in that direction. Did one of those guys overtake Trey Young? Well, if they lose tonight, they will lose nine out of their last 11 games, six in a row. His numbers are really, really down big time. I just simply say what was a lock two weeks ago now is opening up 
for guys like Bagley and Aiden, who's been terrific for Arizona. And Jalen Brunson, talk about leadership and a winner with a team that's winning and is their key catalyst, especially playing without Boone. I mean, those guys got to be in the argument now. I don't believe it's a lock city as it was two weeks ago, and it shouldn't be. It goes back door. Five to shoot. Newman steps back. Yes. As for the jump of the Newman. And I love Trey Young. I absolutely love everything about this game. I think he's got it real tough because of the cast he's playing with is not as good as some of these other guys have. I mean, I ask one question. How many pros is he playing with? He's the pro on the team. I mean, you talk a lot of these teams and you talk about Aiden playing with Trier, the Alkins kid. You think about Bagley with Carter. McNeese has a chance. Yeah, chance. Carter, you talk about guys like Carter. And, and, and think about Trent, the way he shoots the ball. Grayson Allen. I mean, he's not playing with that kind of cast. But I still think when you're going to get an award of that caliber, you've got to win. You've got to be part of winning. Makai Luke wanted an alley-oop to Azabuki. And Christian James got in the way, and he's called for the foul. That's his second. You know, Bagley's been out for three games with a mild knee sprain, and they've been able to be successful without him, which is amazing. Kansas is very impressive tonight. I mean, if they got it going, I remember talking to Bill Self about the three-point shooting. He said, we got a perimeter game that can match anyone where we can shoot from threes. And tonight we've seen an example of that. He's called for a reach in on Azabuki. It's a one and one. That's team foul number seven on Oklahoma. They were fortunate to pull out that game on Saturday against West Virginia. West Virginia, I believe, maybe I'm wrong. We were here last year. They've had three big leads, double digit leads against Kansas and lost all three. Correct. 35 and two doesn't it help you <laughs> on the free throw line. Well, remember, it was against Oklahoma in Norman where the hack dope became a thing that helped Oklahoma win that game. Well, since then, Udoka Azubuki has improved his free throw shooting to 64%. He's worked hard in the gym to improve that form. Bill Self said, you know, I'm really proud of him, but more importantly, he's proud of himself that he's no longer a liability. Malik Newman, no the outside pass from Legero Vick. Yeah, Udoka Azubuki has worked very hard on his form at the free throw line to at least become a respectable free throw shooter. The numbers certainly say that, as Holly pointed out, shooting over 60% since Lon Kruger employed that hack a -doke strategy in the win in Norman. It was a good strategy. Since then, he's 18 for 30 on a free throw line. Bill Seth has to be very happy with the unbelievable performance. Kyler turns the corner, and he'll go to the line. Did anybody rotate over to close off a driving angle? I could have scored that. He missed the layup. I would have made that. I'm strong with my left hand. Saturday on ESPN, we've got two more great games on deck. First at 4.15 Eastern. It's the Saturday primetime crew presented by AT&T. They'll have Kansas, Texas Tech in a game that could determine the Big 12 title. And then at 6.15, the Saturday showcase presented by Five Hour Energy. Syracuse, Duke, Cameron Indoor, both games on ESPN and the ESPN app. So for Syracuse, they go back to back home against North Carolina, and they're at Duke on Saturday. But Lubbock is going to be the scene. Oh, that's Lubbock. the spot. That'll be two top 10 teams going head to head to see if they can decide the Big 12 title. Well, game day should have a lot of fun down there. Lubbock will be jumping with joy. Split that trap. Trey Young just can't find any room to get a three off. Odoms. A little too strong. He's been Azabuki climbs the back of Lachero Thick and comes up with the rebound. Newman lobs it. Thick can't finish. Trey Young, a wide open look and a rare one at that. He can't hit. His numbers are. Really, really so down over that losing streak in six games. Came in here in the last five, 10 for 50. As a booking, gets the hang from the rim again.
The fog magic, baby. The fog magic. Oh, when I'm playing like this, these fans are so passionate. Bob, it's unbelievable. What spirit. I love the enthusiasm, the energy. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is presented by Joseph A. Bank. The new tradition since 1905. All right, Kenny, thanks very much. It is a party here at Lawrence. Odoms for three. In and out. He's a slashing kind of player. We have not seen that drive and aggressiveness. I think the biggest disappointment if you're an Oklahoma fan is not the ineffectiveness offensively. It's got to be defensively. There was no challenge at all against this club here in the second half. After they cut it to seven, they just did not challenge lobs, three-point shots, dribble penetration. Another three, Malik Newman. That's his fourth triple. How many now, Bob? How many? They are 16 of 28 from three-point wow. line. Manic can't answer. This is a KU blowout. See, see if I'm going to build self now, I get these guys off the floor and have them rest and get a great hand from the crowd and get them out of there, get them ready for Saturday because they're going to be in a battle defensively. Texas Tech will not back down from them at all. The show to beat them here. Well, they're playing three teams that beat him the first time. They've knocked off the one right here. Now they're going to go for Texas Tech. And then the other one that beat him is Oklahoma State. Odoms turns it over. Azabuki. The lob. Vic. Great catch. How many layups? How many lobs? I feel bad for Lon Cougar. I feel bad. He coaches his heart out. He's a winner. His kids are not playing with the kind of emotion, intensity you would like as a coach. And it's curtain call time for the Jayhawks. Tomorrow night on ESPN, Super Tuesday. It's a doubleheader that starts in the Big Ten. Michigan State at Breslin to take on the Illini. And then at 9, Coach Cal and Kentucky will battle Arkansas at tomorrow night, Super Tuesday, presented by Boost Mobile on ESPN and the ESPN app. Razorbacks can put a lot of points on the board. In fact, the Razorbacks beat Oklahoma this year. So Trey Young on the bench as well. He has 11 points. That is a season low. He scored 15 in their opener and hadn't been held under 15 the rest of the season. Three for 13, really. In fairness, he doesn't get a lot of open shots. He's a terrific talent. They're very fortunate to have him for one year down there in Oklahoma. He's had four games of 40 points or more this year. He had 22 assists in a game, which tied a record. Avery Johnson was the last one to have 22. He's doing a heck of a job in Alabama, despite some of the people get a little upset hearing him when they lose. He's done a great job in his third year. Freeman is fouled by James Szczynski. So now you start to look ahead for Kansas to Saturday. Game day, Lubbock, and it will be a first place battle, it looks like, between the Red Raiders and the Jayhawks. When these two teams played here earlier this season, at Allen Fieldhouse, it was a no doubt about it win for Texas Tech. They dominated a KU team at home about as decidedly as any team in recent memory has. What has to turn around for Kansas to go down to Lubbock and get a win on the road? Well, they just got to play like they play here. It's like passion and feeling. I think they're on an uptick right now. Big question mark for Texas Tech will be the status of the toe of the kid Evans. He's that key to their club. drive and throw it down. Anybody come over to challenge him? Nobody challenge him. Unbelievable dunk. 
Augusty hits a fadeaway. You Down play to the defense. last minute. You got to play defense to win basketball games. Tehan for three. That's way short. When he gets older, does his family. I played in a game, man. I hit some big shots to beat Oklahoma. That's the first basket for Brady Manick. Yeah, Manick's a good player, too. Good young talent. He'll be around school, get stronger physically. The look on Ron Kruger's face tells it all. Another big win. Jayhawks, 28 consecutive trips they have to the NCAA tournament. Followed by Duke with 22, Michigan State with 20, Gonzaga with 19. And our Phillips 66 player of the game, Devontae Graham. So on a night where maybe the best point guard, and you can see Jerron Collins there, that ever played for Bill Self, shakes the hands of Devontae Graham. Graham ends up with 23 points, seven assists, and five rebounds. Yeah, he was a dominant player right out of the gate. Leadership skills as well. There's a hug right there, coaches with Trey Young. Almost came here but February 16th. He called up Oklahoma and said, I'm coming. Well, the next stop for the Jayhawks, Lubbock. Game day in first place of the Big 12. And a championship might hang in the balance. 104-74. They beat Oklahoma. I'm Bob Wischusen for Dick Vitale and Holly Rose. Sports Center with Pucci and Kenny May. We're, we're hurt the team, so I just look to make plays for myself, and my teammates found me uh, to get me going early to knock down some shots, and it kind of got me going. You guys are coming off a loss to this team, and then you just blew out the doors on them. What do you think was so different about you guys this time around? Uh, I don't know. One, we was at home. You know, this crowd, unbelievable tonight. And then I think we just, that, that chip on our shoulder, you know, just losing that one at, um, in, o in Oklahoma. Uh, we thought we should have won it, so we just wanted to come out and, and play our hearts out. All right, now you have what could boil down to the conference championship on Saturday at Texas Tech. How do you turn your eyes to that and the pre preparation that that will take? Oh, uh, well, we're probably going to get a day off, and then we're going to watch film because uh, when they came here, uh, they definitely it was a beat down. So we got to watch and, and see what we did wrong and then uh, adjust to it in practice. Uh, we got a couple of days and get, get down there and hopefully get the W. All right. Thank you, Devontae. Appreciate you.